When you emphasize, you make something stand out. So we have a lot of different ways to make something stand out. We're gonna start and you're gonna make another three by three inch square or about, and then you're gonna draw a little design that shows emphasis. Let's talk a little bit about emphasis. This one's a little hard, um, it, and if you keep it really simple, it's a little too easy. So right now, I just emphasize the M in the word emphasis. I made it different. I contrasted it with the other letters. You can also create emphasis by isolating something, setting it off by itself. So here you see the contrast. I made things different. Let's talk about how you set something off by itself. A lot of people do this in their artwork. If you have a grouping or a group of people or a group of shapes or a group of objects close together and then something's away from it, you're going to notice it more. You're going to, it's going to be a little more emphasized. Here also I made that circle that's isolated a little different than the other one. So it's contrast and isolation. Now placement is a big key to emphasis. When you take a picture on your phone, sometimes you see this grid, and this is called the rule of thirds. If you put something at the intersection of that grid or on the lines of the grid, that's a good placement. It's going to um, emphasize whatever's on that intersection or line in that rule of thirds. So now let's try it. I start out with some triangles here. You can start out with whatever you want. And right now, nothing's emphasized, nothing's different, right? So I'm just, now I make a little rectangle and that's different, but it's still not very emphasized. Let's continue on. How can I make something stand out? So there I've changed it and overlapped a little bit and I've made that triangle a little different. But as soon as I add a circle, which is very different than all the straight line shapes, I get a little more emphasis on that circle. Plus, it's in that rule of third intersection that we talked about, one of those intersections. So now when I start coloring it in, I can color in my triangles black or the edge of this one black, but I wanna make the circle stand out. I could make the circle stand out by making it a different color, or I can make the circle stand out by not coloring it in and emphasizing it by coloring around it, or I could just color it in by itself. That's gonna make it even stronger because it's the only circle or curved line in this whole piece. Emphasize that line a little bit and outline it. And now I have a strong sense of emphasis with contrast and placement. Here's another really simple one. This is different. I have three rectangles and I put a circle on there. And then I'm gonna add a rectangle and maybe it needs another one because it's pretty boring right now. But as soon as I make that circle all by itself and it's different than the other one, so I've got contrast, isolation, and placement here because it's on that rule of thirds line and it's all by itself and it's different. So it's your turn to try creating some kind of a design that shows some kind of emphasis in it.